Hey everyone, how's it going? So in this tutorial, in this video, what I want to do is sort of see what kind of data analysis can ChatGPT give us, meaning this is free. So if you have the data and you've got ChatGPT, just really connecting the data with ChatGPT and saying, what kind of insight can we get? And why would we do this? Well, when you get things like for today's example, Google Analytics, um, you can get a lot of data and that can be overwhelming. And for someone who doesn't maybe know Google Analytics well, you don't really have to. ChatGPT can give you insights on that data that will get you further along and it's free. It's thinking through that process. So here is uh, a bunch of data. Um, these are actually just the general uh, pages, uh, pages and screens, um, just some data. And the point is, it's the point is this data I'm looking at right here. So I'm going to basically highlight all of this data in, in Google Analytics and I'm just going to right click and go copy. I'm going to go back over to ChatGPT. I'm going to start a new conversation and I'm going to get paste the insights, meaning paste it and see what chat GPT says for us. So I just copy and pasted it. You notice there's no formatting and it automatically gives me insights here. So based on the data provided, here are the statistics for the website. Now, total views, 327 total users, 131. The views per user is two and a half pages per view. I'll, I'll take that. The average engagement rate is just under a minute, which is actually really good. Um, the event count is nine as 964 and zero conversions and revenue. That makes sense. So additionally, the table shows a list of 35 pages on the website, along with the corresponding number of views, pages, blah, blah, blah. The data suggests that the most popular pages are the SEO and marketing prompts page, the chat GPT prompt generator page, and the text prompt generator page. While the least popular pages is the 10 best chat GPT prompts for SEO page. However, it's important to note that the website does not appear to generate any revenue from conversions at this time. That makes sense. I'm not trying to, but this website here, just by copy and pasting all of the data. Yes, we can, we can make those the same insights looking at these different, these are the titles of the pages. We can look at those same insights, look through, look at the conversions, look at the average time per page and so on. So looking at this, we can, we can take those same insights and inferences, but the ability to the point behind this video is not what the data is saying. It's the idea that we can take text from a spreadsheet in some way. This is me copy and pasting it directly from Google analytics. You can export this. You can, you can take it and, and analyze it, but I can take this data, copy and paste it and paste it directly into ChatGPT and get meaningful insights. That is what is exciting. That is what is powerful and the whole point behind this tutorial. So bear with me here. So we put in our 35 inputs and we pasted it in and ChatGPT gave us some insights. Okay, so I'm gonna start to think um, and ask chat some questions. Now we haven't prompted chat in a way where you've set things up for ChatGPT to be an expert in optimization and content and SEO. So that is a, maybe another video or the second half of this video, I'm not sure. But what I wanna do now is see what else I can glean from this. What else can I gain and glean from this, um, this data? So I'm gonna say now, um, based on the data, what five new pieces of content should I create um, that would be most meaningful for my target audience. Now, this is really important. Um, meaningful. This is important. As I hit enter, I want you to think here with me for a second. I haven't told ChatGPT my audience, okay? So the way I prompted the question, the way ChatGPT thinks is we tell it what to do, it gives us a response. So I said, based on the data, what five new pieces of, of content should I create? Well, that's realistic. It could logically give you that, but it doesn't know my target audience and I haven't given it my target audience. I haven't given it who I'm specifically um, pursuing, um, who, I who I'm focused on. So chat is making some assumptions and that's a really important thing because um, those assumptions will impact the type of content it's going to suggest. If we gave it our target audience, if we said, Hey, our target audience are is X, Y, and Z now give us five new pieces of content. It would give a better answer. That's more focused on what we're looking for, but at least let's see what we're doing here. Uh, based on the data provided, here are five new pieces of content that could be meaningful for your target audience. Now, remember, we don't know 
who the target audience is. We know, but the chat doesn't know. So I'm going to ask chat who it thinks my target audience is after this. So we can at least get an idea to understand what we're doing here. So ChatGPT said, I should create a comprehensive guide to using ChatGPT for SEO. Since the SEO and marketing prompts and ChatGPT prompt generated pages are the most popular, and those are these pages. So if I hear, see here, I see SEO prompt generator. This is a free one. You can have full access to this. If you go to AIPromptScience.com, you put in your six questions, you answer them, and it will create an awesome prompt for you. And then that will really get you focused and get ChatGPT focused in what you're looking for. It's phenomenal. Biased, I built it, I know, it's really good. Um, so it's saying this page is really important. And it's also saying the ChatGPT prompts generator page, which is the generic one. So I have a random prompt generator, a specific SEO one, and a custom prompt generator, which is the text prompt generator. So if you click this, this is not specific to anything. This is where you can specifically guide chat into any topic you want, and it will create a prompt for you. Maybe we'll do that today at the end of the video. We'll see how that goes. Anyways, back to our point. So ChatGPT is saying I should create a comprehensive guide um, for using ChatGPT for SEO based off those two pages having the most value and content. The guide should cover various uses, uh, use cases and provide tips on how to um, learn how to leverage ChatGPT for SEO optimization. The second recommendation, the new piece, it says how to use AI for, uh, to write better marketing copy. Okay, as the text prompt generator page is also quite popular, a guide on how to use AI to write better marketing copy would be highly relevant to your audience and so on. Next one is ChatGPT versus other AI tools. Given the interest in ChatGPT and AI generated content, a comparison of ChatGPT and other tools, other AI tools in the market could be helpful for your audience and how to optimize your website for voice search. Now that's interesting because voice search is not anywhere a part of my content. So that is where I'm like, that is an anomaly. And I don't know why chat's saying that. Remember ChatGPT Chat at the point of this video is based off a data set of 2021 and earlier. So maybe that was an important thing in website optimization at the time within the data set that chat has, I don't know. I don't know why ChatGPT would suggest that. Like the actual reasoning behind the why, I don't know. Uh, number five, ChatGPT case studies. Um, use the studies, um, sorry, as, as the use studies page um, on the website received most traffic, creating more, okay, cool. Um, so that's recommending, so really if we decipher this data, um, it's saying create a guide specific to SEO. So basically training people how to use ChatGPT for SEO. Um, specific to marketing, to create something for marketers, uh, a comparison of tools, the voice optimization, I think is an anomaly, so not do that. And then use studies or case studies. So that, that makes sense. Like those are, are, those are meaningful directions to go. Not, so this is important, very important. Our time is one of the most important things we get, whether we're working for ourselves or for a client. And if we're gonna be making recommendations on next steps to do or what things to do, if you're able to get it quickly, defend it and make reasonable insights um, for that makes sense based off the data, then that is an absolute win. And I used to do that through looking at Google Analytics, looking at the data, making assumptions, looking at our current content, what we're doing and, and doing insights like this. But ChatGPT did it very quickly um, and they're realistic and they make sense. Are they perfect? No, but it's done more efficiently. It allows me as someone who is the, the mind behind it, I can then spend my time on the creation of the content versus the insights to get to that content, or at least look at it as a tool to help me be more efficient, okay? So let's go back to this idea here of this data. Um, I wanna say chat GBT, um, based on this content, based on this content, you said, it was for my target um, at audience. Um, who is my target audience that you are referencing? And I want to see the profile in detail. So now I can see Hopefully this is connected. So remember a conversation with ChatGPT is, is um, it, it, this is sort of our, our living model. Okay. So think of, I use the analogy of, um, you think of 
Google, the, the days of Google, which is still now, um, when you go to a library, that's like having Google and you go to search into Google and you say um, SEO prompt generator. And then the librarian goes and gets different books, the top rated books explaining that and then gives you back those books. And then you have to then choose which books or web pages to read and you, in, you go through that insight. ChatGPT is a little bit different where it's like, the idea is that ChatGPT is like the library and then you basically say in chat to the librarian, hey, SEO prompt generators, well then the librarian in chat, uh, through this this uh, analogy, the librarian then goes researches, takes their opinion on what it is and then gives you an answer versus giving you the websites or the books to go to where then you make the decisions and you make your inferences, it actually does it for you and says, here's the answer whether it's right or wrong, whatever biases, insights, understanding, and so on. So you have to understand with the information you're getting from ChatGPT, or you have to look with a critical eye. Because I said, um, before it gave me this, this uh, target audience profile, I said, uh, based on the data, which I didn't give it the, my target audience, I said, what five new pieces of content should I create that would be most meaningful for my target audience? Well, if I don't give it the data, if I don't give it my target audience definition, it's gonna choose one for me. And it's gonna choose it based off its understanding of, of in the information and what I've put in this conversation. So then it gave me some meaningful insights and I thought the voice search was a bit out there, but it is what it is. And I said, chat, based on this content, you said it was for my target audience. Who is my target audience that you are referencing? And I want to see the profile in detail. And it chats response. I apologize for not providing more context regarding your target audience. Without more information, it is difficult to provide a detailed profile. However, based on the content on your website, it appears that your target audience may be professionals and businesses in the fields of SEO, which it logically would be, and marketing who are interested in leveraging AI tools like ChatGPT to improve their content creation and optimize efforts. So if you look at AI prompt science, it technically is focused. My original idea around this website was um, people needing to learn how to prompt and interact with and leverage AI. As I looked at the data and the analytics in Google, I then pivoted a bit and focused more on SEO and marketing. So it makes sense that ChatGPT is saying it would be for professionals and businesses in the fields of SEO and marketing who are interested in leveraging AI tools like ChatGPT to improve their content creation and optimization efforts. That does make sense. It's also connected to the real data I put into it, not fake data and so on. So it makes sense. And then it says, here's a possible profile for your target audience. Ages between 25 and 50, gender, male and female, education, bachelor's degree or higher with a focus on marketing, communications or related fields, occupation, SEO and marketing communications, content creators, interests, SEO marketing trends, pain points, difficulty generating high quality content, um, content to scale, staying up to date with the latest SEO marketing trends and optimizing content for search engines. Again, this is just a possible profile, but it makes sense, meaning um, this is, the more back to the point of this whole video, the, the point of this whole tutorial is to say ChatGPT is a language model that we can put data into and use it to get insights. And the more data that we put into it, the more meaningful data, the better the insights will be or the information will be. And what ChatGPT has done is I took my Google Analytics data, I copy and pasted 35 entries with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven um, categories connected in this. And I just pasted it into ChatGPT and I said, give me some insights and chat then categorized, assessed the data and gave me meaningful insights for that data. And then I said, well, based off the top pages, give me five new pieces of content I should create based off my target audience. But I didn't tell it my target audience, but chat still gave some great ideas for content based off of the pages, how they're ranking, how long people are spending time on those pages and so on. And then based off of all of this, I said, well, chat, what are you referring to within the target audience? And then chat created a decent profile of a customer profile or like target audience that would be appropriate to my website content. So what can we do? What can we glean from this video? What can we glean from this? The idea is that if you have data, if you have text, written text, or in some way, you can put that in the chat GPT and then ask meaningful questions to get hopefully valuable insights you may have otherwise wouldn't have seen or may have taken longer to get. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, I've got so many more ways to think of using this as a productivity tool so I can get answers quicker. 
Um, and, and remember, you have to then filter through. It doesn't mean it's a be all end all. It doesn't mean that's the only answer, the perfect answer what chat gives you. But using my expertise and using our brains, it should be able to give us insight to think, well, wait a second here, that makes sense or, and that doesn't make sense. Because remember, it made sense to create a comprehensive guide using ChatGPT for SEO, but it didn't make sense on how to optimize the website for voice search. Meaning I don't know how this, this, how this relates, right? Um, so there could be things that are outliers, think of artifacts and data that make no sense and other things that do make complete sense that could help me stay focused and get me on track. But think that was done in, I don't know how long this video is, maybe 15 minutes. And I talked the whole time. If I didn't talk, I could probably got the same information within four to five minutes. So, and then we're way ahead. So something to think of there, hopefully that was helpful. I'm full of excitement and energy because I love this tool. Um, for thinking through data and understanding. And uh, for the most part, there'll be many more videos to come and hopefully insights. If you've got any questions or comments, put them in the, in the, in the comments below if, the, if they're provided comments available because I want to be able to create content that you guys want because I'm creating content that makes sense to me. But if you've got ideas or things you want, let me know, share. And, and I'll try to create content that helps and gives you the tools you're looking for for the answers you're looking for. Thank you so much for watching the video and spending time with me. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.